Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we want to talk about comparing files, verifying your ISO images. And there is a new package that I have not seen before. Not sure how old or new it is, but it does a very good job on Linux on verifying your ISO images. Of course, if you've ever tried to verify an image, sometimes you get stuff that's a little over your head. So here's Citrix. I don't even know what Citrix is. I just did a basic internet search for verifying a download file and you can see there's a lot of things here it's not really all that difficult Linux Mint has one here um, here's an integrity check uh, so in the terminal sha25sum-b your file.iso that's going to tell you what your file is and that's uh, that works just fine that's usually what I have used but it does require the terminal and um, some people are afraid of that so let me go to, go ahead and show you here what that would look like let's just go ahead and head on over to the downloads and I have a Linux Mint 20.3 XFCE in there so we're gonna do the SHA256 sum dash I think it was B I don't even know if I ever used the dot B. <laughs> Just go ahead and use it without. And go ahead and do that. And it's going to spit us out a number here. So as soon as that's done, we want to compare this to the number that Linux Mint tells us that our download should be. See, so this is that number. Okay. Now, if you head on back over to your download page, here's the XFCE download page. And this is the line of text it gives us the it gives us all of them the edge the um, regular cinnamon mate and xfce and as long as this number and this number are the same then you can be confident of what you have downloaded now what i've done in the past and i think i've had a video about this is if you go into something like libre calc you can easily compare these two numbers so i'm going to go ahead and copy this guy and just kind of paste it on in and then I'm going to go on to our site here copy this and this is not going to paste in smoothly so I'm going to go ahead and hit paste special unformatted text and you can compare them manually but there is actually a command if we just do exact select this select this and as long as this says true then these two numbers are the same so if I were to go here and add anything to it, you'll see that that immediately becomes false because it no longer is the same number. That's how I have done it in the past. But there is a new application available in Flatpak called Collision. And Collision is going to be a GUI hash check tool. And so this is going to be a really nice tool for you guys that do want to verify your files, but you're like, I don't want to mess with the terminal. Maybe I just like GUI packages and any Linux distribution that's going to support Flatpak, this is available on FlatHub. I just went into the Linux Mint um, installation, uh, the Linux Mint software manager, looked up Collision and found it. So thanks to uh, Fossbytes for doing the video about this. I think it's Fossbytes. It was either Fossbytes or it's Foss. It's one of those two. I look at them both regularly. I encourage you to do the same. So what we're going to do here is boot it up and hit the blue open file button. And then we're just going to go on down to our downloads. And here is the same file. And this is going to give us a hash. And what we're going to see is this hash is going to match the same hash that we've picked up on our um, SHA sum. Basically, that's all it's doing. It's just running SHA, SHA sum um, on the back end. So here, it, this is giving us more than just the 256. We have an MD5, SHA1, SHA256, SHA512. You can copy it very easily here. So if I wanted to go ahead and copy this in and paste it in, then, hey, it works. Look at that. Let's go ahead and just paste it down there so you can see it's the same file. So we can actually easily do that. Now, if you don't even want to mess with the spreadsheet, that's fine. We don't have to do that. There is a verify option over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to paste in the manual checksum, and it can be MD5, SHA1, uh, SHA256, SHA512, so we're going to go ahead and copy the hash from what the website tells us. I'm going to paste it in the box. All right, we're going to grab the file. So let's head back to downloads, Linux Mint. 
let it do its thing, and then this is going to tell us if this file matches this checksum hash. You can see that it does. So now we have a nice GUI way to check the um, uh, verification of a download, and you should be verifying everything you download that's going to be a system file, particularly everything you download that's going to be a distro, uh, something you're going to want to run, anything that's not just some basic, you know, picture or whatever else on the internet, you're going to want to verify. This makes sure that the package you think you're downloading matches what the software developer says they're giving you. And so using this package called Collision, you can easily grab the hash to copy and paste in another manual way, or you can just go ahead and use this option here. So go ahead and have a look at that application there, available anywhere you can get your FlatHub applications. And now you have a nice GUI way on Linux to verify your files without worrying about all of the crazy complicated uh, pages like this, which I don't know, this one's not too complicated anymore, but some of them have gotten a little worse. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.